This is Eric from Pew Pew Tactical. Let's do a quick field strip and reassembly of the car CW9. First, let's make sure it's unloaded. Press the magazine release button here. And let's move the slide back to make sure the chamber is clear as well. Now that that's out of the way, if you can see the mark here on the slide and the mark here on the frame, you gotta match those up while pressing out here. And you can also see there's a little hole there that's gonna help you match everything up. Now, it's gonna be a lot easier to see. You wanna match that up with the metal part and press out with your finger on the back. If it's a new gun, it's gonna be especially hard. You might need to use a tool. But for me, I've already pressed back with my middle finger enough so that it stops the slide. So I will hold it and using a little tool, punch it out. Pull that out, set it aside. And since it's a striker fire gun, you will need to depress the trigger. So make sure you're aimed in a safe direction, even though you've checked that it's safe. Press trigger and it should just slide off. Sometimes if it doesn't slide off, make sure your finger is still depressed on the trigger. It might catch sometimes. Put the frame away and now you have the slide assembly. Press down here on the spring and guide rod to release it. Upwards, and you can pull up on the barrel assembly and out. So that does it for a field strip and disassembly of the car CW9. Now let's put it back together. Take the barrel, insert it into the larger hole here. I like to move it like this and then slowly move it back until it clicks into, space, into place. Now, if you did kind of move these apart to clean, there is a correct side of the spring. So make sure this flat end is against here instead of this kind of open end. So you want it like that. Now put this over here on the top hole. And it's a little bit difficult because you want to get this rod through that hole while going against decent spring pressure. So let me try to get that in there. Now you can't see it exactly, but press it in and you can see that there's a notch where it falls into nicely. You try to Make that in the middle. Now we can slide it back onto the frame and check here. That's where the rails will go in. And right here, these are the rails. So let's match that up and slide it back on. And here's a little tip so you don't mar your finish on your slide. Get this here, put it through the hole, but make sure this is kind of pointed onto the polymer section of your frame. Not here, because if you press it down too hard, you're gonna start scratching. So press that in, press it down a little bit, and then you can kind of angle it up. And you can see this kind of half moon shape is gonna match up with that, and that matches up with the marks here. So I like to move it up to here, then move it where the lines are matching, or here you can kind of match that up too, and press down. Get that perfectly matched up. And you're good to go. Let's check the chamber's empty again. We're gonna have a function test. Press in a safe direction. All right, that's good. Hold it down. Make sure it resets. And we are good to go. That does it for this breakdown of the CAR CW9. Please check out the links below and like and subscribe. Thanks.